Good afternoon, everybody. Today is December 19th, 2019. Coming into a new year here pretty quick. Today, I just wanted to post a video and talk a little bit about the name Prestigious and where did that come from. So, one of my dreams, my ideas, is to create my own business. And when I was thinking of this concept to create my own business, I was actually come, trying to come up with a name. Seeing as my last name was Pelche, I wanted it to have a P. And I was thinking Pelche Productions. Pelche Productions, okay. And actually, my sister Heidi, who's passed away now, she actually passed away in February of 2019. So... Her and I were sitting at, in the bedroom one afternoon, one evening in 2018 in the summertime. And I was talking to her about this concept of wanting to create my own business and coming up with a name and what I should have for my stage name. See, I feel like every rappers and people like that have stage names. And I was like, I need a stage name. And I was like, I think it should be something with a P. So like... Something P, P, P. So, Palche Production. So, what's this P going to be? And I remember where I, looking, I was looking through a dictionary. And her and I were sitting there having a smoke. And I was looking. And I was reading off P words through the dictionary. And then I come across the word prestigious. And I said, prestigious. And we both kind of looked at each other. Whoa. And it kind of just hit us real. It hit, it hit me. And I was like, whoa. Now that's a word, just the, the word in itself, right? Prestigious, I actually Googled it, prestigious. The definition said, inspiring respect or admiration. And I thought, wow, that's that's quite a name. Prestigious Palche Productions, whoa, like Triple P, wow. I just thought it had a really nice ring to it. And I was talking to my sister about it, and I was like, you know, you think, you know, you think I could carry that name? And she's like, well, I don't know. I was like, that's a, that's some big shoes to fill. That's a high level to attain to, to aspire to. And you know, I thought about it for a while. And I looked through the rest of the P's in the dictionary, and I just, I just kept on coming back to the word prestigious, prestigious. And I was like, wow. At that time, definitely in my life, I did not feel like I could carry that name. But today, I do carry that name. And I feel like each and every day that I live in recovery, that I get healthy, that I reach out and I help people, I'm that much more closer to working towards fully earning and owning that name. Now, you know how, like, how a rapper has his name and then he'll spell his rap name will be this this word but he'll spell it differently because it's his rap name so the word prestigious p-r-e-s-t-i-g-i-o-u-s is how you actually spell it correctly dictionary terms and um i was trying to spell my name like that on facebook one day I was setting up this profile prestigious palche and facebook said no that's not your name that can't be your name if you want your name to be that, then it's going to have to be spelled like this. P-R-E-S-T-I-G-O-U-S. And I read it and I thought, well, it still says the same thing. Sure, I'll take that. Prestigious. It says prestigious. I'll take that. All right. Sounds good. So I set up this Facebook profile, Prestigious Palche. And plus, this was born. This man that I'm becoming each and every day in recovery this the speaker this guide this mentor to help people to utilize all of my experiences as tools to help those who are struggling with some of the same realities that i have survived so that's my goal that's my vision that's my my gift it's my calling in life my passion my purpose to be able to give back so i call myself prestigious my sister and I had come up with that name together, so it holds sentimental value to me. That's why I call myself prestigious, because each and every day in my recovery, I work towards owning, fully owning that name. 
where one day, you know, I'll really feel like I am a prestigious person. But that's kind of how the name came to be. I don't feel like I'm arrogant and just full of myself and I think I'm just, oh, I'm just so prestigious. That's not kind of the idea here. The idea is that I inspire respect and admiration because of all the garbage that I've been through, all the gain life, all the drugs, all the alcohol, to be able to come through all of that and to put it behind me and to move towards a healthier, happier direction, to be a positive role model and to help people. That inspires respect. In my opinion, it does. So I don't call myself prestigious in an arrogant manner. I call myself in a hopeful, inspiring way to inspire people, to help people, to show people that no matter where you've been or what you've done, you can get healthy, you can heal, you can forgive, you can become better, and you can give back to the world in a healthy and happy manner. So that's the idea why I call myself prestigious. So I also want to tell a short story. So I was invited to this First Nations a few weeks ago to do a presentation. I did the, uh, we had supper, and one of the elders there prayed for the supper, and then we ate, and then I did my presentation. Now, when I was leaving, my bro and I were leaving out the door, and this elder who prayed for the food, he was kind of walking in front of us. I guess he's kind of known as a, a medicine man, like a healer of sorts. And there was a group of people standing outside having a smoke. And I was following this elder out, and I noticed this woman. She was standing there with her young son. And her son, his eyes were baggy, and they were kind of watery, and his nose was running. And he just, he didn't look well. He looked really sick. And the woman kind of, she put up her hand, she said, excuse me. She pointed at that elder. Can you help me? And he looked at her. And I said, what is it? And she said, my son, he's sick. He's really, really sick. He's been like this for months. I took him to the doctor. They gave him medicine, pills, antibiotics. Nothing helped him. He's still sick. Please, can you help my son, please? She was begging him. I was witnessing this, and this elder looked at her and he said, Sure, I can help your son. I'll pray for him. And this man standing in the crowd of people smoking, he looked at that elder and said, What do you mean you'll pray for him? Pray's not going to do nothing, he said. If they took him to the doctor and the doctor couldn't help him, what do you think praying's going to do? Praying's not going to do nothing. And the elder looked at that man and he said, You fool! Shut up, you fool! You know nothing of such things! You're a fool! You don't know nothing! And this man got really mad. Everybody looked at that man and they're, Oh! And this man got really mad. <laughs> like he was going to hit that elder. And then he went up to that elder and then that elder went up to him and his face softened. And this he held out his hand to that man and he put his hand on that man and he said, if one word has so much power to make you so enraged, then why not can't one word have the power to heal someone? And that day, that evening, that elder, he healed that man and he healed that boy with his words, with his prayers. See, words are powerful. You gotta be careful with your words. They can encourage people, they can heal people, and they can motivate them and inspire them, or they can tear them down, defeat them, and put hate into them. Be careful with your words. Be kind to one another, encourage one another, smile, be kind, be grateful, be happy, be loving. Because those kind of things, people remember how you make them feel. It's not the words that you say so much as the way you make them feel, right? Words are powerful. Be careful with your words. Speak love. Speak kindness. Speak light. Help people to heal. Encourage them. All right? So that's the message I want to send for you today. Just trying to keep up with my videos. I'm actually going to the Maxi Treatment Center here right away to go and do a presentation with Straight Up. Boom, boom. I love these things. I feel very blessed and grateful to be alive, to be healthy, to be in recovery, to be happy, to be able to give back in a positive way. 
And like I had said, one of the things I say is most people don't succeed because they're so scared of having people see them be bad at something. But we have to be willing to let people see us be bad at something in order for us to get good at it. And that's my whole idea as well with this YouTube channel videos. I don't feel like I'm great at this, like I'm the best at it. I'm really self-critical, but I'm trying to get through that, right? And I'm trying to be able to do these videos as my stepping stones to get to the point where I'm really great. So I hope you guys are supportive. I hope I helped you, some of you today. And I hope I look forward to hearing from you. You know, you can make the comments, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell your aunties, tell your cousins, tell your uncles, tell your mushrooms, cook those, tell everyone, tell all the rest, tell them all. It's all good. Okay, love and respect. Peace.